Hello guys, it's Paula. I'm back today to work in the collage, or the altered book. The altered book is today's project. And then, um, the next one I'll try to do something Christmas again. Um, my fan's kind of noisy, so I'm going to turn it off and hope that I don't need it. If I have to turn it on, I will. Okay, guys. So, I'm wanting to use a few of my digitals in this book so that whoever ends up with the book will have some of my digitals in it. So, I haven't used any except this doily, okay? So, I'm going to be, maybe every other time until later, I'm going to do some of mine because, you know, it's just part of the fun, for me to be able to use some of my project products. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great Monday morning. I am going to tear, tear the edges off of this book, or this page. Let me make sure you guys can see. And, um, yes, yeah, so that's, that's the plan right now, is to get it all prepped to go on. I also... I'm going to um, do a really cute folio type, well, not really a folio, like a little book um, for our next Christmas project. Now, I know we did something similar to a book this time, but it really wasn't. It was envelopes. <laughs> so, I am determined that I am going to use this giant rose in my book. Now, I've thought about it and thought, how can I do this successfully? Well, you just find a flat page and put it on it. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So, I, um, I like this big rose. I know it's big, but... I just, I loved it when I saw it in an old, old book. And I thought, I'm going to use that. So, let me tear this one side. And we will have it all done. Now, doesn't have to be, as I usually say, perfect. So, I thought what we'd do, we have a pocket this time to deal with. And we, we stitch, whoops. We had glued it in the middle, but I just separated it, it looks like. Yeah, I separated it by accident, and now I have no way to fix it back. So, we'll just let it be a single. Probably better anyway, because things get kind of tight, right? Okay, so, I'm thinking we'll put this rose on one side and put the scallop down the border. And, um... So, I'm going to get that ready, and we're going to put it down. Now, we're going to have some edges around it that's not going to look like we probably want them to look. So, let's add something around some of the edges. I also have another one of my digital dualies. And that was in Dolly Set 1, I think. Okay. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful Dolly. This is the small one of two, um, of two, lar of, of two. There's a small and a medium size. And when I saw it, I fell in love with it. I also, believe it or not, I have some lace or actual crocheted trim that um, I got from Ooh La La Crafts, and it's really nice, too. So, I'm just trying to get all the corners off here so we can be done with the corner tear, this big tearing. Blah. Get it straight, Paula. 
Okay. This one's on cardstock. The other one is not. So it's a little bit of difference in tearing when it's like that. Okay, so what I think is we might put this inside the pocket or on the pocket. Not sure which. I don't know if I have two of these or not, because if I did, I'd just lay it on there and be done with it. But I don't think I do. So I'm just going to tear another strip and use a strip around the outside of the book. Now, I know we've done that a couple times, but because this digital that I'm doing here has a, because it has a, a big image in it, um, you really need it to be kind of in the center. That's my, that's what I think. And I want it to look, you know, like it's, um, a full page. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies. Oh my gosh, is your allergies bugging you guys? I feel like, you know, they're never going to go away. Okay, so, and now we're ready. Now, I don't think this one's, I think it's a little bit shorter or longer than it needs to be. So, I'll just shorten it a little bit. And, um... So, I have been busy. I've been tea staining for two days. Slowly. There's nothing fast that's happening with my tea staining. I like to do it where... I learned this from Wendy over at... Um, oh, what is her, her place? Um, Wendy's Journal... Mm hmm hmm I'm going to have to start writing all these down, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to be taking a trip, and I'm going to have some time to drive. I'm going to be writing down all the um, different people's links. And it's not, I don't, I haven't not done it because I don't want to. I just, I have a terrible memory, and I want to give credit to everybody. So, some of you have asked me what digitals belong to he, who. Well, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but I'm going to uh, look back through the book as I, um, when I complete this and list them all in one, one email which will be the flip through. Okay. Because I promised you guys I'd do that. Okay, so I'm just basically putting a border around it. Kind of like a design. This was not in my plan this morning, but I thought whenever I, uh, I thought when I put, I took it out and laid the paper out here. It wasn't was when, when cutting it. So that's why I ended up doing this. Now, it doesn't have to be super neat. I did not use my tear tool. I just used the ruler, which still gave it rough edges, mostly because um, I kind of wanted that look. I really should have put the small sides down first because, uh, see, this is off a little bit. I know it's collaging, but you know how I am. So I have one little tiny piece here, and I think I'm going to fix this right here. It's not going to look beautiful, but it looks fun. <laughs> can you guys see okay? Okay, you can. All right, so, wrong paper. What did I do with my other paper? Good grief. There it is. Now, this is going to cover up a good part of what I wanted to show. So, I'm going to bring it over to about right here. 
and see if that gives us some more room. I don't want to tear the scallop off. That's what I'm trying to avoid right now. Let's see. Much better. Much better. Um, I'm trying to not layer too much in the rest of the book, but I'm, I, that, which means that I have to come up with some other things, right? Well, I haven't done that really either because I feel like collaging is just pretty. You pick out a few papers, you sit down and you do it, right? And that's what I'm attempting to do now. Hopefully I won't tear my page. Okay, here we go. I'm putting it right here so you guys can see a little better and so I can get it lined up. I want to put as much up and down as I can here. There we go. I really haven't decided much on this. I'm going to have to glue this other page here together. All right, let me rip it off. This is an old book <laughs> that has share on it. I found at the found at some vintage thing. <laughs> All right, some antique mall. I thought it was kind of funny, but I liked. I needed the size of the book for something. I can't remember what now, but I got it. <laughs> Just had to get one that had share on it. Okay, so now I like the way that looks. I think it's okay that we had to kind of piece it around. But now, we do have this one with the tag on it. But I don't think I really need the tag for this. Um, I'm going to see if we can't put this along this side right here. So I'm not gonna put it down far into the spine. So let's do like this. We'll stick it right here and then maybe add some from down here. I'm gonna put this one because it matches a little bit better. And I thought we might, if I have another one of these um, images, I thought we could uh, maybe make a tag for it or something, or some kind of design for this pocket. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to put this down. This part is cardstock too. Somehow, in the beginning, when I first did my images, they were getting printed on cardstock. So, hopefully, as I used all the used up stuff, which is going to be a long time, I did a trial run, and my husband wasn't home, and I wasn't sure how we were going to do it. So, I just made copies of a bunch of the stuff I wanted. And, um, let me fix this right here. Let me kind of bring it up where we don't, we can't see any text, but we're all the way up to the edge of the text. Does that make sense? Yeah, right there. These side pockets like this have a tendency to see how it kind of, I think that's why I decided to try gluing it in the center, but I kind of blew that. I'm so used to them being the other way that when I pulled it out, I just kind of automatically <laughs> grabbed it right there. Okay, now. I 
I'm thinking, I wish I had some more of this black scallop. I do somewhere. I just don't know where. <laughs> it's in one of my collage boxes. Okay, so let's go ahead and try putting this on there. I'm not sure what we're going to end up with, but let's try it. We can kind of stuff some of that under underneath. I really like the um, the lace portion, but I'm going to do it this way instead. And then we can kind of go over this. Since I don't need a a label, I'm gonna. We can kind of go over that part. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and put it like this, and then come back over it like that, and then come down over this. We'll we'll figure it out. It's not going to be enough to go under the pocket, but I think it will work. I don't really have anything new and exciting that's gone on over the weekend. I haven't heard from my daughter since, gosh, Monday, a week ago, today. It's been a week. I need to text her and say, honey, are you alive? I haven't heard from you. <laughs> she, they went out of town, took the kids up to uh, Kansas City, which isn't too far from us, and the kids um, got to go to Wolf Lodge, you know, with an indoor water park. It's just so hot to take Charlie out into the sun, and he loves anything that has to do with water. He does like the water. We still put him in a life jacket because he gets exhausted, you know. And I don't know how well he's swimming right now. I haven't seen him swim in a while. I know when I saw him in the water the last time, he was... There we go. Now, I'm going to try to take this, this label off at some point. Okay, so down here... Let me see. We'll just piece our way all the way down. We could do like this and get part of it covered, couldn't we? Although, I'll tell you, we won't have this black line, but we could put a we could put a black line there if we wanted to. I got it a little bit big. Let me tear just a little bit off one side and hope that I don't tear too much. Let's see. It's kind of crooked. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna try to get enough videos made that while I'm with my sister, you guys won't miss anything. I know, I hate it when someone goes on vacation and they're my favorite to watch. Not that I'm your favorite, I don't mean it like that. But I mean like, you know, my the ones I watch the most, I guess, is what I meant to say. And, um, yeah, I hate it when I, I get bored if I'm at home and don't have anything else to do, which that never happens since I have had my YouTube channel. I'll just tell you that I'm very busy um, doing my channel. It might not seem like it, but I really am. I, uh, it takes a lot of time, and um, I'm not complaining a bit. I enjoy it. You know, I really do. I enjoy all the positive stuff that goes along with it. All right, I'm going to cover that one part up with this little bit. Now, well, I just got that nice and crooked. Let's see. Let's just see. Uh, I could do it like that, or I could do it like this. I think I like it I like that because 
it uh, gives it a different look. Now, I'm going to put this, go ahead and put this one underneath while we cover up that little label. I like labels on my collage pages. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so now let's think about what do we want. It's pretty busy, right? And um, so I don't think I really want to put any other things on here because it is very busy. But I'm thinking we can make uh, something to go in soon as I find the pages. Oh, I organized my, um, I organized all my book pages that I've glued. <laughs> yes, you heard me. I organized them because it was driving me crazy. And when I say that, I mean for real. I had nowhere to work. If you notice, I'm over further today and actually back under my camera like I'm supposed to be. That's because I didn't sleep last night. I went to bed about 1.30 and I laid there and I did doze off at, at some point, but then I couldn't go, I mean, I just couldn't, um, how do I put it? I couldn't sleep, I could not sleep. And so I uh, <laughs> tossed and turned, I played on my computer, I looked at different digitals. I mean, you know, just whatever to keep me occupied. I'm trying to find another sheet in my stack here. Excuse me for a minute. I want to do, let's do some of that on there. Uh, we've got that too. Probably, here's a little bit of blue, but we really don't have anything blue in this page. But I think we can do whatever we want. Okay, so let's move these out of the way. I'm going to move the book up that way while we work on this. Can you guys see? No, let me, let me reposition this. You know what? I'm just going to set it to the side for now. Just a moment. And I'll bring it back out when we're done. I just thought we could decorate this first. All right, so I found some, I'm just pulling out a bunch of scraps that, that I have from um, other projects that we've done in this particular book. But, but I'm not gonna use the whole big piece. I'm going to um, see what we can do with this page. I think I'll get one out, out one of the small dualies that belong to Gail or Rock, uh, Rachel. Let's see what I can come up with. I think I'm going to put this right here. Now, we don't have to cover the whole thing. We'll put on the back, we'll, we'll fix it to journal, but as far as the front goes, we don't have to put everything in the world on here right okay i'm just nothing super over the top is is not what i'm expecting from this okay oh excuse me just bump my fingers Okay, so my goal today is to do two videos, one for today and one for tomorrow, and hope that that all goes well. Um, I'm thinking that maybe, um, maybe, maybe we can do this right like this. I don't want it to be super perfect kind of looks like it is but it really I'm not meaning for it to be okay so I saw Rachel at Roxy Creations uh, stamp on a 
old tea stained dictionary paper, which I think I'm gonna do some because I thought it turned out really cute the way she did it. I don't know if she ever used the rabbit or not, but <laughs> in this particular video, but I liked the little rabbit, but it's all sewed out. I went to the link and it's just all sewn, sewed out. So hopefully they'll bring it back sometime. If they do, I'll show it on camera. I'll be keeping an eye out for all of us. Let me grab my stamp. I can get them over here. Now, this is just a smidgen of my stamps. I use old, re not old, but I use refrigerator doors. The drawers, not doors. Um, this is just a few. Someday I'll go through the process of how I keep my stamps in order and how I manage to find them. This is just some that I have out right now. Let me show you so you can see. This is just a few. This is something that a lot of them are um, floral or background or, you know, something like that. Tim, Tim Holtz. But I have a way of doing my my stamps so that, um, let me see what that is. That's an image. Um, I don't know if I have any animals in this, but she did animals in hers and it was adorable. She did that rabbit or that bunny. And he was so cute. But I don't think I have any of, most of mine are just things like tags and different things, I believe. But we can do a floral for sure, right? Since we have a big rose. I do have some floral out, but not all of them. I have this one. That I have Tim Holtz, which, no, I think his, no, his is a floral. Yeah, we've got his. Let's use his. Everybody loves Tim Holtz. So we'll just use his. And I'm just going to get my black archival ink okay and I know black is kind of woo but that's all right because I think it'll look good this is the back of a book page okay and I think I actually use it right down here and we'll use the other part if we need to okay so we're going to just do this random, no, not doing a whole lot of thinking with it. Just gonna stamp a couple of Tim's images. I like the ones that are really tall, but I have one here that's not quite as tall as the others that I thought we would use, and I'm just dirtying it up because it doesn't look like it's been used. I know I've used a couple of these. Yeah, let me get my, I'm gonna go ahead and get out a block because it drives me crazy when I have to fight with it. Even though it doesn't look like this one wants to fit this block. Do you ever just have a million blocks and then the one block you want, you don't have a, let's do like this. And then when we get to the bottom down here, I'll. I'll figure out something. Now, I should have got my big stamp out. But again, like I said, this just came to my brain. I watched her video. Whoops. Watched her video a couple days ago, I think. And I thought, that's, that's a good idea. But I got to get a book page too, right? While I'm thinking about it. Now, these are not inked, but it'd look even better with, with an inked book page, but we're going to make it work. Oh, well, I just dropped that. Let's see if we, we get anything out of that. Not too bad for me smearing it, but let's let's try it again. 
The nice thing about doing these, I've done this on book page before. It's just been so long. You can do different colors. You can water paint. I've watercolored on. Um, I have watercolored on the text too. I don't even have it anymore because I, I sewed it. I think I just rent that one. Well, I just need to quit being so rocky. So the dog and I just laid down and went, took a nap. And Sadie's getting Sadie up is like a crazy. I'm not going to push as hard this time. See if it will keep it from smearing. It's not quite as black. I think the first, well, the first one smeared. I think they've all smeared. So, I'm going to get the second piece of paper. We can always use them, right? Okay, let's do this second page. I think what's happened, and I'm going to get my, I think that this is just a super juicy pad, um, ink pad, and um, yeah. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and then just barely put any on there. See if that makes a difference. I think I'd like it better. Not going to do too awfully much on as far as the ink goes. And we'll see what happens. Here we go. I think I'm going to put it right here. I know the proper way to ink. Sometimes you just get sloppy though, you know, you just kind of slap it on there and then you don't get what you want. Now, we did pretty good, except we didn't get enough on the, the actual floral part. So we'll do that again. I think we finally found one that I like. So, we'll just use that one. Now, I just think the one single will be plenty for what I'm going to do. And if we decide differently, we'll do differently, right? Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Now on this, I'm just going to tear around it. And nothing super fancy. Just kind of, you know, just doing its own little thing here. And I like that it's not perfect. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I think that makes a, although I think it's a little tall, so I'm going to tear off some of the tall portion of it. Right here, which will change a little bit on this side. All right, so I'm thinking that we can put it right here. I'm not concerned with some of this showing. It's not very much, but I'm not concerned with that. So I'm gonna bring my book page over and get this glued down. We may decide on the other side to put another one. Maybe a small one, just kind of like, like a last thought kind of thing. Yeah. 
I like that pretty well, but I still feel like it's missing something. Let me look at my butterflies. Butterflies would be something small, and if we don't like that, we'll look at a label. I'm going to have to get out the butterflies and start cutting. You know, sometimes it's just... There's a pink one. He would work, right? And really, any butterfly would work. That one's not really what I'm looking for. Here's a pretty pink and blue one. He's a little big, I think, for this small little spot. I kind of like the little blue, but we don't have blue in our page. So, that's where my matchy-matchy comes in. I know, I don't need to match it. Don't need to do matchy-matchy. Here's a little white butterfly. I'm almost out of those little white butterflies. This one's kind of cute. This little Tim Holtz. Um, he's also got a little yellow. The yellow's not right with that paper. Here is... Here is another one. I kind of like the what Ra uh, Rachel said about flying into the, the plant. And I had never, ever thought about that. You know, you're always just trying to make it look pretty. <laughs> That's usually what you're, you're thinking, right? Is I want to make this look pretty. Now, I do like this little butterfly here that's just kind of standing there, flapping its wings. I'm trying to find one. Um, that will go with. That one's just too black. Too black. Okay, so let's just go with the little pink one. Or this one. <laughs> I don't know which one. Maybe this one. I think I like that one. Let's go with that one. I have settled the dispute. I got to get some more of my good ones printed out because I, I have certain butterflies, butterflies that I like. And um, I'm going to ink around this a little bit. So he doesn't blend so much with the background. Okay. And let's get him glued down. He's pretty heavy. I might have to um, add a little extra Fabri-Tac or something to him. I just covered him in glue. I don't know where he would go. I didn't give him many opportunities to go anywhere. I think he's staying. <laughs> okay. I've got this glue all over me. Look at this. I try to save it on the book so it helps glue the book shut. I also have... I feel like we need like a little texture, like maybe some lace or doily let me see what i got here drag out my doily box i know we got all kinds of goodies in here let me grab it i've got these let's see what else i got i like to try different shapes and stuff i've also got this heavier one that we could cut a piece of or use some linen that does that just kind of blends away. I think let's let's use this little piece. It's just cut and like it's ready to be part of it. Um, do we want it here? Do we want it there? No. No. Hmm. I kind of might, I kind of like it right here, but I'm not too sure. 
I feel like by putting it there, it's it's going to be heavy on one side. So, and if I put it here, I feel like it's trying to be a flower. <laughs> I'm thinking about what it's going to be. Maybe that one's just too big and we need something smaller. I'm going to hang on to it just in case. Now, here is something smaller. Okay. Of course, I don't cut it, you know, in some kind of shape. Let's see. Maybe we'll just bring it out. Oh, yeah. I like that. I feel like that, I know it covers up that number, which is kind of weird just sticking out there all by itself. Now that there's no letters with it, I guess I cover those up. Whoopsie. Now, this blue will go away as it dries. Okay, and I'm going to put this back in the box. Out of the way. Okay, now... I'm still thinking. Let's work on the other side while I put on my thinking. My thinking brain. Okay. Hope you guys can see okay. Come off of there. Now, this is going to be the side that we'll use for journaling. I think on this side, I might um, not putting any kind of color there, it looks like. But... I'll put a little bit. We don't, we're not using a lot of color really, you know. We're just kind of okay. Who would have ever thought that collaging would be so popular? I know I've said that before on my channel. You know, I've done it off and on for years, but <laughs> Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk it? Okay, now here is a little bit of, let's tear some of this little, man, I almost tore that right on the, the little line. And that would have been a big accident, but it would have been what I would love. <laughs> so I just thought we could tear a little bit of this. have no idea where I'm going to put it. But I'm thinking like that. I like that kind of overlapped look. Now, on this side, we'll probably see if we can find a label. I think that would look cute to have a label. I know some people don't get the label thing. It's just a... It's a way of balancing, to me, it's a way of balancing everything out. So you don't have a lot of weight on one side or a lot of weight on the other side. Because it will sometimes look like something's just missing. And it kind of fills in that, that uh, part of the design. I'm trying to get this, I love I just love putting them back in the package, don't you? And I'm surprised mine has lasted this long, honestly. I'm going to have to put some scotch tape on it. Excuse me. I use, usually get those Avery um, packages. 
I don't even know what I did with this. Oh, they're right here in front of my nose. Getting all bent out of shape, and they're right here in front of my nose. All right, so I have some little bunnies that I have stamped and not ever used. So maybe we can use these little bunnies. Nope. I think that's too dark, but we've got, on the other side, we've got a black flower, but why does it not look good on the other side? Maybe, maybe just one or two of them. Maybe it's just the shape. Let's see what this looks like if I kind of fussy around it. Now, I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to fussy around them, all three of them. And um, just kind of give it a wavy, you know, like I fussied around each one. Let's, and if it doesn't look good like that, we'll just fussy around one of them. Yeah, I don't like that. I really love this one down on the left side. But he needs to be looking at his brother or sister because he's looking the wrong direction so i think i'm going to put this one on here the one that's just looking up to the heavens says oh what a beautiful day okay now i am going to put a little bit of ink around these I love this little punch, or this little stamp. It's a wooden stamp, and I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. It's been so long, I don't honestly remember. I felt like it needed a little something else. You know what? I think it's looking at the... Um, I think it's probably looking up at the butterfly from the other side. We could say it is if we want. We can make up any story we want in our altered book. It's our book, right? He's looking at him thinking, he is crazy. Why is he looking up? Well, he sees a little butterfly. Okay, so I'm going to move those out of the way. The ones we didn't use. Now, I do stamp on fabric, too. Um, let me look. Just let me look one more time at the butterflies. Now, I've convinced myself that he's looking at a butterfly. I just got to find something that's real pale. This one's pretty, and it has a little bit of pink in it. So... I need to put it where he would actually be looking, though. I don't like that. I don't like that. So, maybe not. Let me see. I think I have a little white one in here. And then now I'll check. I'm going to check that one. And if I don't like that one, then we're moving on. Here's a little blue one, but I'm still, I haven't grabbed my white one yet. Let me grab it. Where are you, little white bunny, or little white, um, butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Of course, it's probably buried itself under all the other butterflies. Let's see. Got the yellow one. Okay, well, he's not showing himself. So, I can't believe how many butterflies I have used out of my little container. It's been quite a few. So, I also have a little pink butterfly, but somehow that little blue just seems to do it. Let's just do the little blue butterfly. And I'll add some little antennas on there. <laughs> Little antennas or little, as my friend says, antlers. <laughs> Whatever we want, we can we can do it. It is our project. 
part of me was like I should have put text in the background and I'll probably stitch around this um, because it'll look better now I have off-white in my machine right now still needs something doesn't it I'm thinking hmm what do we want to put on here I'm thinking I'm thinking there we got our little antennas going he's got his straight out like Superman this one over here is actually on the, but they're so faint you can't even see them. I'm not gonna mess with them because I'll mess them up. You know what I'm saying? That would be my luck after all of that. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my machine. I'm gonna stitch around this. Let me put some glue on here and. We'll finish this project and move on. Let me see how long our video is before I answer that. All right. Okay, we're gonna, after we stitch it, we're gonna have to move on. It's, we're at 51 or two minutes, which, you know, that will, not work <laughs> that will not work okay let me put this lid on here and then i will do let's see i guess I don't, i'm trying to decide if i want to do a christmas or if i want to pull out my my sewing um book mm -hmm. sewing book i think i'm going to do zigzag Maybe that'll give it a little bit of something. I'm about to move you. Sorry. I just want you to be able to see. And hopefully my... How's that? There you go. I started to say, hopefully my sewing machine will cooperate. It should all be dry. I was working in my sewing book. I think you guys will be anxious to see it. I'll bring it out at, in the next video. We'll work on, I don't have much left to do. So probably won't be a whole lot done. I'll have to look at it and see if there's enough for me to bring it out. There's a lot of things that I wanted to put in it that I haven't, so. This is as fast as my machine will go. I watch Rachel and she flies through her sewing projects. She has it good. That yellow would be odd with our pocket. But that's okay. Now we're gonna have to go over this little crocheted, or this doily, I mean. It should be fine. Scoot it over. I keep a cloth under my my pressure foot so I can uh, keep the dust out of the machine the best I can. And I'll tell you right now, my machine still gets dusty, but 
I would rather do that than not attempt to keep it covered a little bit. Okay, my mom taught me that. When I, when I was young, she said, you always keep this covered so it doesn't get grody inside your machine. And you have to end up taking it to the repair shop, which I've already done once. I'm sure it's, it's all the uh, fabric and thread fibers that I, it's what it looked like to me, but they just cleaned it out and didn't do anything fancy. They just blew it out and charged me a, nearly a hundred bucks. I know. And the funny thing is, is my husband and I cleaned it out. You know, I cleaned it out. Then he went through and cleaned it out. It did not like our touch. It did not like our touch. Okay, so I'm going to ink this a little bit because it seems like it really needs it. And we'll ink around the pages, too. Just enough that we can keep it from looking so stark white. Well, this is a different card. We haven't done one like this in the book. Now, yes, I always like using the book pages. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. I really enjoy doing that since it's all been discovered. Not only to keep from wasting, but you're still, you're putting the book in the whole story too. You know, you're, the little book is, is going to be part of it. See, this just seems, yeah, I kind of like to dirty it up a little bit. Not a lot, but just enough. Okay, so let me bring out the book. And we really need a pink butterfly. See, that just doesn't cut it. This is a blue butterfly. So we're going to cover these butterflies up. And I'll show them to you in the next video. But I just, yeah, that one came right off. I'm going to put, um, this one's not going to come right off. So I will add a pink butterfly. And we will have this page. We have too much pink going on not to use a pink butterfly. Do you see what I'm talking about? Now that looks better, see. It has black and pink. And it's not realistic, but it's fun, right? And over here, I know I have some pink ones like that. I said I was going to wait. But look at me. I don't follow my own rules. So, yeah. So, we're going to have this one on this side and the other on the other side. And I will be back with a video uh, of either something Christmas or my sewing book, depending on how much I have left to do in the sewing book. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. And, um... If you haven't subscribed, please do. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.